Hi everyone, Melissa here from Collecting Dreamcatcher, and today I have a new video where I am finally going to be um, moving some items into my official Dreamcatcher binder. So, as we know, there's kind of like the partial problem, I guess, with the um, page sleeves that the binder came with, and I know there have been some solutions and other information spreading around about them, um, but personally, I really I can't get past the plasticky smell of them so I have tried letting kind of them like air out a little bit and I just I can't seem to get the smell to go away so um, I don't think I'm gonna use those I'm gonna keep my photo cards in my purple binder but I have I feel like what would be one of the perfect size things to go in here and it's for larger items and it's um, a, the two pocket sleeve so I have some handong things and some larger merch and I feel like it would look really good in here and I would love to have like handong things um, very easily accessible in an official binder just because she's been away for so long so that's what I'm going to be doing today I'm going to be organizing this binder in I believe part four or part five of this series so let's start okay so first I'm going to take the sleeve off and so I kept this one page in because I thought that like it just looks so nice and just blends perfectly that I didn't want to remove it so I'm going to keep that in and because I don't quite have enough room to put my pink binder in you can kind of see it up here in the corner um, I have my pink miscellaneous binder off to the side and I'm going to pull things over so the first thing I have are my handong um, like postcards from youth with you so I want this to go in first um, so let's see, I'm going to put this one in, actually sorry, I want to put the other one in first, I'm putting these in backwards. So I want to put that one in, then this one in, and then this one in. I wanted to keep the package it came in here because it's super cute, So, and plus I had an uneven number, so it fit pretty nicely. And then, as we can see, when I close this, they don't stick out the side, which was a problem with all my other sleeves. So these fit perfectly, so I'm going to keep populating these. So, since I haven't totally, um, like, I guess, packaged everything up that I had in, like, the big one-page sleeve, so I'm going to be trying to find some items to go in here. So... Um, I have this double-sided Piri poster, postcard, sorry. Um, I think I want the black one to face me. And I'll put it on the top. There we go. Then I gotta find something for the bottom. I do have these, but they're a little bit on the smaller side. I think I can fit them in the other side's um, sleeves. I have this bookmark. I don't know, will it fit? Oh, it will. It might fit. Let's see. Because this is the... Oh, it covers up the hole. Darn it. I thought that might work. No. So this one still has to stay in something else. I have to find a better way to store it. It's really long, so it's kind of awkward um, to store, but I'll find a good way. So I think the next thing I want to include are the postcards from the second... Um, photo book project so these ones are too big to fit in my like four pocket and three pocket sleeves so I think I'm gonna put them in here plus it's perfect because there's an odd number so I can start GU in this one here and then keep adding members so we'll need Xi'an I'm so happy to finally be using this. It took me like a little while to decide what I was going to do. Oops. Um, just because of the stuff with the pages that came in and they smelt and regular pages didn't fit. And it was just, I felt like it's such a, like a fiasco that I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And then when these ended up fitting, I was like just beyond thrilled <laughs> that these worked for what I needed them to.
There we go. Try to get them to lay flat. So I'd love to hear what you guys have been using your binders for. Have you been using the pages and stuff? I know some people have been. Um, just personally, every time I smelt it, it kind of gave me a headache. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let me know what you've been using your Dreamcatcher binder for, because it is super pretty. And the whole time I just wanted to use it so bad, <laughs> but just kept running into issues. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do are put these clear pages that were also from the um, photo book. I'm going to put those in, because again, they didn't really fit nicely in my four pocket sleeves. So I'll do this one, and... And before I had these in like a one page sleeve and they were like overlapping and it was just such a mess. <laughs> but I was just like, I need a better way to store this and this is so much better. Because <laughs> anytime I wanted to look at one, I, I, kept, I would have to take everything out and stuff would fall everywhere. It was craziness. So these work a lot better. We'll do Xi'an's and then Handong's is somewhere here. And I apologize for taking so long to film this video because I know I did a different organization video before this and it was because I was still trying to think about what I was going to do. <laughs> it took me probably an embarrassingly long amount of time to figure out like exactly my plan for this and how I wanted to store everything. So I apologize about that delay, but I'm happy to be doing it now. And finally adding some stuff. There we go. And these are kind of cute because you can add like little um, pages here or little saying things and writing down like what is in it. Like if you were using these for pictures because they're meant for actual pictures. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I thought that's kind of cute. So now Gahyan's going in the top. Of this one. So what I think I want to include next are like the little stickers because these wreak havoc on me trying to store them. <laughs> so what I want to try to do, this might not work, um, but I want to try to put them in sleeves and then put the sleeves in here because I feel like that'll help them kind of stay a bit more organized. At least that's the hope. <laughs> There we go. So I think I got this in a pretty decent way of storing them where you can see each of them and they hopefully won't move around quite as much. So she is in her own penny sleeve and then the rest are two in a penny sleeve. And then they just kind of, I just kind of have them overlapping. So I'm hoping that they'll kind of stay in place now. I'll try to put this in so carefully so that they don't <laughs> slide around too much, hopefully. So now let's just flip through and see what it looks like. So, we have this cute little one page thing. Then we have Handong's version 2, the ambush from all sides. I apologize if you can hear a phone ringing. <laughs> there's, so there's the one. And then here's the other two. And then the other two. And then here's another like double-sided period postcard. And then the postcards from the second photo book that go across. And then we have the transparent pages, or postcards, or whatever these are called, and the stickers, and Gehyeon. So that's my book for right now. So I have a feeling this will hopefully grow, like if I ever get um, the version one of Handong's performance from Youth With You, that'll go in here. Um, and then probably if they release other postcards that are on the bigger side, they'll go in here. And yeah, so I'm gonna fold this up and put it in the thing and we can see how it looks a little bit nicer when there's actually stuff in it <laughs> from this side and then stick it in the sleeve there we go so yeah this looks significantly better with stuff in it <laughs> it doesn't look so sad so yeah so that is organizing my official Dreamcatcher binder for once so i hope you enjoy let me know what you're using your binder for and I'll see you in my next video. If you like collecting K-pop content or Dreamcatcher content, then please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you everyone. Bye. Stay safe.